Thank you very much, Speaker. I would like to start out right now by congratulating uh, my colleague, uh, Su Wong, for, I think, the best speech she's ever given in this House, and certainly the most passionate. I was very proud to listen to that speech, but I'm even more proud of you today for filling the galleries. From time to time, we have, uh, we have a full house here, uh, but it's been very rare over the last couple of years to see people at a private member's bill, so I applaud you for bringing so many people to our house here today and for the passion in which you and, and quite frankly, the other members, including my colleague Raymond Cho, spoke with such passion. You know, during the six weeks that the Imperial Japanese Army decided to rape and pillage and murder the city of Nanking, it was called by Westerners hell on earth. And it was because close to 20 to 80,000 women were raped. Some girls as young as eight years old were raped. Pregnant women weren't spared. According to the research I've done, some pregnant women had their bellies slit open. There was massive carnage in Nanking. Some recall that the streets were red with blood. It was a genocide. I have a large Chinese population in my constituency of Nepean and Carleton. About 11,000 people live there uh, from th th that call themselves and identify as Chinese. My riding, when it splits in two, will have 9,000 Chinese Canadians. And next week, I will join several of them in China uh, for the first time that I'll ever take that trip. And I'm really looking forward to, to it, uh, to spend time with my Chinese constituents. But when you look at the fact that 200 to 300,000 people died in such a short period? I can't believe it's taken us 80 years to commemorate it. And I'll profess my own ignorance to my friend from Scarborough. I really didn't know much about Nanking until you brought it to this assembly. Last year, I had a, a day called um, a Day for Humanity. And I, I actually worked with the Jewish community on it because I was so familiar with the Holocaust, having traveled to Israel and having seen uh, the Holocaust Yad Vashem memorial there. I started to learn a little bit more about genocides, and we had uh, speakers from the R Rwanda, uh, from Armenia, and from the Yazidis. So to my, point, uh, to my colleague's point earlier, we are now get, becoming aware of the atrocities around the world. And we need to commemorate them. We even need to commemorate the assaults on the Indigenous population here in Canada. And we have to learn from that because, as we know, history can repeat itself if we are not aware of it. So I'm very pleased to support this motion. I am very proud that all members of this Assembly will stand in unity today behind this motion. Uh, I want to congratulate my, my colleague as well from Toronto Danforth. I do agree. I do hope on December 13th we are all standing here in this assembly speaking to it, and if the House rises before then, before we rise, we must make sure that we mark this important day and we remark on this important uh, discussion so that we never repeat another heinous tragedy that unfolded so many years ago so far away. Thank you.